Hello everyone, Featherblade here with today's lesson, Crash Course on Redstone Dust. Prepare yourself for I'll be showing everything from the starting basics to the weirdest things that Redstone Dust will do. Hmm, so where to start? Dust. Often called wires, redstone, and a variety of other names, dust can sense when various pieces of equipment are active, like, for example, when a lever is flicked on. The dust will be a dull red when it can't sense anything, and will change to a bright red when it does. Wires can only be placed on top of a block, but can connect to blocks one higher or lower as well. This allows you to make ramps of redstone up and down. It is also possible to stop wires from going up a block by placing a solid block on the diagonal between them. You can visually see the dust breaking, and if either wire senses anything, the other wire will not pick it up. You might have realized I mentioned a solid block. Most blocks in Minecraft are either solid or transparent. Stone, wood, and wool are all solid blocks. Leaves, stairs, and glowstone are examples of transparent blocks. In our Minecraft world, transparent blocks usually mean ones which will let light through them, or do not take up an entire block, like half slabs. Solid blocks have the ability to convey senses whenever a wire or repeater is directly pointed at it, or if a wire is directly on top of the block. For example, a lamp will turn on even though it isn't touching the wires at all in both these places. The same goes for most pieces of redstone equipment. A hatch or door will be affected the same way, no matter which block it's attached to. Torches and repeaters are less sensitive, however, and only change if the block they are anchored to is conveying sense. The only exception to this rule of solid blocks is that it will not spread to other dust. I believe this is to prevent dust from activating itself from the same block it's conveying its senses to. Transparent blocks, however, will not convey senses at all, even when a wire or repeater is pointing directly at it. Let's compare the same situations from earlier, but with transparent blocks instead. Glowstone is used because it's the only transparent block which allows redstone to be placed on it. In both situations where the lamp changed last time, it fails to change this time. This is because the blocks aren't conveying any senses to it. This holds true for the hatch and the door, which do not react either. Pistons tend to be more sensitive, but are also affected by the difference between transparent and solid blocks. One very interesting situation is the first one I mentioned earlier. Transparent blocks do not block dust from going up when placed on the diagonal. Even though it will visually show that the dust is broken, it will still convey senses from the bottom to the top diagonal. This can be extended, however. If redstone can be placed on glowstone, and dust will convey senses diagonally through glowstone, what if I stack them like this? Interestingly enough, this device will allow the current to pass upwards without lag, but not downwards. It's possible to make vertical and instant redstone with this, which is incredibly useful in maps where both space and speed is required. I hope you were listening, however. It doesn't work going down. Whenever redstone dust is placed on glowstone, any sensors from the dust cannot travel downwards diagonally to other blocks. This is shown visually in this test. It allows for one-way instant redstone. These odd properties are only shown in glowstone, due to it being the only transparent block that can have redstone placed on it. Up till this point, I've mostly ignored how redstone dust cannot send any sensors beyond 15 blocks on its own. This is because the strength of the sense gets weaker over distance, and needs to be chained with a repeater every 15 blocks to re-strengthen it. This limit can be raised slightly, however, by using solid blocks. If you place a block, repeater, and then block in this style, you can lengthen the dust another 3 meters. This is helpful when speed is necessary, as the same sense will travel a longer distance in the same time frame. So make it a habit to build in this style for when you're making larger redstone contraptions. Another interesting fact is that blocks with menus can still have redstone dust placed on top of them. I'm talking about crafting benches, furnaces, dispensers, and even note blocks which have a right-click function and don't normally allow you to place the redstone on top of them. 
You can get around this by placing the dust on the block behind the block you wish to place it on, which will result in it getting placed. This is mostly important for dispensers, but it's a simple glitch which can be used to save space in certain instances, or even for decoration. And without warning, that concludes my brief talk on the physics of dust. I hope you all learnt something new today, and please, play around with some redstone. Try out some of these things that I showed you, see how they connect together. Thanks for watching.